Thank you. Uh, four years ago, uh, the residents of this village mandated that this administration address the problem of illegal housing. Uh, it was an epidemic, and if you read the paper, it's an epidemic everywhere on the island. What the mayor charged us to do was to attack this problem aggressively, but with compassion. And how did we do that? We hired a uh, housing prosecutor. We worked with Justice McGuire in establishing a housing court that was dedicated to these housing problems. We revamped the code. But most importantly, we did it aggressively. It was something that the mayor sat down with me and said, we have to do this if we're going to keep this village on a level playing field and to move forward. And because of those efforts and because of the staff that we have at the village, the building and housing staff underpaid and overworked, uh, we were able to close over 15 overcrowded houses, which would be termed boarding houses, and more importantly, get dozens into compliance. Our goal is not to throw people in the streets, but to get into compliance. Also, with code enforcement, we didn't want to get sued. The prior administration got us into uh, many problems with lawsuits. We redirected the focus into the village code, that they're not police officers, that they're village ordinance officers, and they're to enforce the village code. And that's something we've worked diligently with them to do, to redirect their focus, and we've been successful. I think the question we have to ask ourselves is, are we better off now for, than we were four years ago? I think the answer is yes. And our job, if reelected, is to make us better four years from now than we are now. So once again, I thank you for your time. I'd like to thank my family who share me with the village, my time. And uh, I ask for your support for the next four years. Thank you. As I said earlier, four years ago, when we stood at the Four Corners, Patty Seals stood there as a trustee running for office, and she won. In the meantime, she was appointed as our village clerk. And at that time, Lori Devlin stepped in. Lori was the chairs of the Waterfront Revitalization Committee. She has provided leadership and guidance in the areas of beautification in the village and is working with the Art Space Project. Lori Devlin. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming out on what is uh, such a beautiful day. Two years ago, on a much windier and colder day, I was proud to um, accept the opportunity to run for office with this uh, wonderful group of individuals that comprise the village board and the mayor. The great thing about this group is that we really do, unlike other branches and levels of government and boards, have a united vision for what we want to see happen in the Patchaw community. And I think, as the mayor mentioned, over the last four years, you've really seen a good portion of that vision come to fruition. I'd like to say that as only having been a trustee for two years, I really feel like I'm just getting started. And some of the projects that I'm excited to continue to put my efforts toward over the next four years would be that of the local waterfront revitalization project that we've begun in, in uh, concert with a consulting firm. And this is something that hopefully by sometime next year, possibly by June, we'll be able to address some of the zoning considerations for our riverfront. This is the reason that we've had a moratorium for such a long time. And I know that there have been many who've been hoping that there would come the day where we would be able to lift the waterfront moratorium. Out of this process, we should be able to get those zoning recommendations that we can finally begin to implement and start to tackle the issue of revitalizing our waterfront, maintaining some of its historic um, characteristics, but also bringing it into the next century. Another project that I'm excited to work on um, with the rest of the trustees would be the art space project. I have a background in the arts, and we've been working very closely with the organization out of Minneapolis to provide live-work housing that we can bring another element into the village as a crucial part of our revitalization puzzle. As the Commissioner of the Planning and Zoning Boards, I'm also very excited about the redevelopment of the Four Corners and the uh, YMCA project. These are projects that um, I think will really bring Hatchog into the 21st century. And, um, it's, it's an amazing amount 
of, of things that I believe that this board and the mayor have accomplished over the last four years. And I'm very excited again to um, be able to continue on for another four years. Um, I thank my family. My sister came down from Pisco with her children. And uh, thank you to all the village residents um, that I've come to know over the last two years. Here's the mayor. And last but not least is Trustee Jack Rieger, a name that goes back on this board more than 40 years probably when you put all his years. His dad had been a trustee and he's walking those same, those same footsteps. And as it is with him, this position is about family and it's about being in a community. Just one last comment about myself and family. It is the, one of the most important things we have. And as Trustee McGiff said, he thanks his family for sharing. I thank my family for sharing because it is when you take a look at what the trustees do and the time they put in, it is time away from home. It's that ability to separate yourself and have, an, have a family that says they see the value in what you do and therefore, please, do it, do it well and do it right for the community. There's another gentleman here, John Locke, who's the chairman of the planning board. And John has been under the pressure over the last couple of years of those projects that we brought forth to him. And again, as he has to share his time and share his with, with his family, John, I thank you very much. <laughs> that being said, Trustee Jack, Jack Krieger, many of you see him at the theater. It's been his primary charge because it is the biggest investment this village has. It's a $7 million investment that we continue to, to fund on a yearly basis. I'm a believer. The government does for the people those things people can't do for themselves. And one of those things is the arts. When Mayor Keegan made the decision to rebuild that theater, he made two decisions. One, to take care of the downtown, and one, to provide the arts to this community. Those two things have happened. They've happened strongly. They've happened affirmatively. And under Jack Krieger's leadership, that dream that Mayor Keegan had Ten years ago, the better part of ten years ago, is now being fulfilled today. He can look at that and say what he thought about is happening, and that happens because of Jack. Jack Krieger.